choreographer, yes, there's tap dancing in Lion King, um, of Lion King Jr. So I think one of the things that I love so much about when the production comes together is how all of the elements kind of come together in this one big conglomeration. So you have the actors who are doing their job and what's really cool is our little one is five years old and our oldest one is 18 and to see the kids helping each other and to see the older kids growing from the younger kids and the younger kids growing from the older kids is really special. So you've got that whole team and then you have our choreographer who is really working hard on the dancing aspect of it. Um, you have the direction of the show which is working hard on getting everyone to project and use their diction and get their character work and really understand the storyline. Then you have the lights and the lights add so much to this show with the beautiful savannah and all of the brightness of the Pride Lands and then the darkness of Scar's Cave and the Elephant Graveyard. And then you have the set which are these three rock mounds that move around and all that. And then you have the different space and you have the marketing that is getting people to the theater and making sure that everyone knows about it so that they can enjoy it. So it really takes a huge village to put on a production like this. And one of my favorite things is seeing all of these pieces come together. Some of the pieces aren't what you expect when they arrive and then uh, they kind of all come together into this beautiful thing that is a show and so I think that everybody that comes to see Lion King is just going to be blown away by the amazingness that's on stage and only a few of us know just how many people and just how many things it takes to make the magic happen. I'm Dan Beckman, I'm the Artistic Director of Spring Theater, and I am co-directing and light and designing Lion King alongside Aaron Girth. So the themes of Lion King are pretty well known since it's a, it's a movie that most of us have seen. Um, it deals a lot with the themes of responsibility um, and with the themes of balance in, in life, death, in, uh, in how you engage in activity in life. And, um, of course, the circle of life suggests, as Mufasa says, uh, we eat the antelope, but when we die, our bodies become the grass, and the antelope eat the grass, and uh, we all exist in a great circle of life. So it's sort of a, it's a play about, um, it's a play that's actually, I think, necessary to be heard right now at a time where we are increasingly seeing the results of our imbalance um, in, in our world. Uh, but that's maybe a story for another day. <laughs> Um, there are, we have put a couple of um, dancers in the show. We have Trayvon and Kaysen as our two um, featured dancers. That's all they do in the whole show. And you'll see them appear in most numbers. And the way that they exist is that they represent this sort of um, this entanglement of life and death. You'll often see Kaysen dancing alongside the lionesses while Trayvon's dancing alongside the, the antelope that they eat. And you'll also see them um, commingle and, and coordinate their, their movements at the same time. Jordan Medley, our, our choreographer, has given them beautiful moves and they execute them wonderfully. Um, and I think if you watch for them and see how they kind of represent that, the, if you want to call it, you know, a Tao or a yin and a yang or just the, like, the energy of the universe or life, life and death, um, I think they're my favorite little addition that we put in thematically to the show. Medley, and I'm the choreographer for the show. I know originally when I talked to Aaron and Dan, we talked about wanting to incorporate some very African elements. Um, I do not teach African dance by any means, but I wanted to have, give the show a little bit of elements that have to do with African culture, a little bit of animal as well, since Lion King is a very animalistic show. <laughs> it's a bunch of lions and zebras and all kinds of other animals, so I wanted to make sure the choreography had that element and that focus. Some cool things to look out for in the choreography that I really want the audience to get is uh, there's some beautiful moments um, in the body where the dancers are really doing some, some steps where they're jumping and really using a lot of their arms and their legs in different ways that you might not be used to in a typical dance musical. Um, just really looking like animals on stage, which I think is really cool, really exciting, and I'm really excited for that. Uh, and look out for that because it's going to make the show a lot more fun. Um, and there's a lot more energy involved having to do things like that. Uh, enjoy the show, it's gonna be fantastic. The kids have been working really, really hard. Uh, they really are having a blast learning how to beat animals on stage, which is such a different thing when learning how to do a show. Uh, 
sometimes we're used to tap and all these other things and just really simple stuff. But being, being able to be an animal is something different and I think it really adds a new element.